Uh, hey, what's up, guys? I was going to show a program that I like called Ocular for annotations with PDFs. Um, I use this in school mainly for the highlighting capabilities. I was using this over the summer in my Composition 2 class where we had to read quite a bit and do summaries and things like that. And it was nice to highlight some of the information and just throw it into a Word document later and then write the actual essay on the information. Um, there is actually a triple highlighting technique um, that the U.S. military uses, to, and they actually yield like a 95% average on a closed, closed book test. So highlighting can be very effective. I want to get better at some of those methodologies. Um, anyways, this is ocular. Um, normally those annotation things on the side, that left bar doesn't appear unless you press F6. So that's a pretty good thing to learn right away. And then you can do all your highlightings. You see here I have like three different colors. I like it like that. Um, so you can actually do things like triple highlighting. Part of the triple highlighting process is doing things that involve what the instructor is actually making emphasis of within your text. Um, and there's like definitions I believe is one and then there's some other stuff as well. Um, but anyways, how you configure that is you go to configure ocular, then annotations, and then you can add things. In this case, we're looking at um, the text markup. So if you go to add, and then go in here, and say text markup, you can choose any color you want. Um, I'll choose something, what do we not have yet? Blue, I guess. So I can add blue and I'll have 100% opacity. I like it like that. Um, and then you can move these things up or down. I like having all, all of them contiguous, um, meaning right next to each other. So now I have a blue highlighter as well. This one's kind of dark, so I may want to like phase that to a lighter color. Anyways, one other feature that's kind of cool is you also have accessibility type of stuff. Um, so if you're in in the dark or if you do have vision issues like I do, you can do that. The most annoying thing for me is like I need to highlight things and then run my hotkey over it for to talk about it. Um, and then this gets ripped away, but once you learn the hotkey, it's not really that big of a deal um, to switch back and forth. But it's a little annoying if you have that issue, but most people aren't going to have to deal with that. Um, one thing you can do too is you can open like pop-up notes and say hello no world something like that close out of it and then you can open that again uh, let's get rid of the, the accessibility type of stuff but the main thing that I like is the uh, just the highlighting capabilities with it I normally don't have that type of stuff on there but you can do other annotations in here I don't really mess with any of the other ones I don't know what this does yeah okay this is weird you can probably change the picture to add the, that stamp in there if you want that um, I don't really want either of these honestly but I mean they're there if you would want something like that I guess that's kind of cool. So if I wanted to go like this and maybe write something off, this is a is a side annotation, something like that. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. And then I could uh, it'd be nice if I could like change the the size or something, but um, like after instead of having to redo it. Um, let's make another in my own. Yeah, so you can have it fully off to the left side, which sometimes you want to have those type of things in the margin, but mostly I'm using the highlighting stuff. And that's mostly what I want to talk about. If you want to do the text select, then you can do that. There's also other selection tools in here. Um, I mostly just use text selection and then also use the F6 key to get the annotations in and out. So there's some interesting stuff. You can add bookmarks and do some of that stuff. It's all based off of uh, QT.
so do some interesting stuff anyways that's kind of like mostly wanted to show with this program mostly just the annotations I think it's great annotative software um, you can see the page number at the bottom if you want to go directly to a uh, page you can type go and then go to go to page and then go to whatever page you want in this case I don't really want to do that but if I did I could um, it helps for like assignments sometimes it, it doesn't really match with the number in this case it does um, and I looked at my assignment I think there's something on 22 so in that case I could type something like 22 and um, yeah that must just be the end so it'd be 21 is the page I'd want to go to but you can also type it here and I think we're on 30 so I can go back there anyways that was just kind of a short little glimpse of ocular um, anyways have fun peace